on. So if you're staying home this holiday weekend, you can turn it into a staycation because there are all kinds of events going on. And on that note, let's bring in April Morton to find out about some of the highlights of what's happening around the day. Moments ago, you heard her talking about my mother. Defending your mother. Defending my mother. <laughs> now she's going to talk about a packed <laughs> holiday weekend. Well, first off, guys, happy Friday Eve. Happy Friday Eve, yes, April. Yes, it's the holiday weekend, and for many of us, it's going to be a three-day weekend, and there is so much going on. Like you said, Jason, we have a jam-packed weekend. Let's start with this Friday, the John E. Lawrence Jazz Concert in the Park. This is a free summer concert series that kicks off tomorrow, and it will feature the Grammy Award-nominated saxophonist Brandy Scott. I love Brandy. He's from Detroit. The event goes from 7 p.m. till 9 and it takes place at Fort Lake Park in Ypsilanti. Then on Saturday, the music continues with the Detroit Music Weekend. The annual event will feature the, a blues festival celebration to honor the music of John Lee Hooker. There is a big lineup of performers, including Detroit's own Thornetta Davis, who you saw perform on our show earlier this week. She's amazing. That girl got pipes, right? Yeah, she can <laughs> sing. She can sing. All right, so that event is this Saturday from noon until 10 at Music Hall Center for the performance. Arts. And now over to the Avenue of Fashion for Light Up Livernoy. The event will feature fashion, art, and design on the Ave between six and eight mile roads. Visitors can enjoy a runway fashion show, art installations, music, and eateries amid an electric backdrop. It's going to be beautiful when the sun goes down, guys. There is it's an awesome event that's also happening Saturday from noon until 10. Also on Saturday are fireworks at Kensington Metro Park in Milford. This is one of Southeast Michigan's favorite family traditions. Fireworks start around 10 p.m. And lastly, over to downtown Northfield, where they are celebrating Independence Day with their fourth annual, I'm sorry, their 4th of July holiday parade. This year's theme is traveling the USA. Decked in red, white, and blue, the parade participants will travel the streets of downtown Northville. The parade starts at 10 a.m. You know, guys, I really love parades. Like, my favorite part of parades are the marching bands. Yes. Because it's like, they get the drum line going, and, yes. you know, it features a lot of the um, high schools and you know it's just I love that part you guys like parades love them it gets you in the mood the drum line is everything when I was in high school we'd go to pep rallies on a Friday before the football games yeah, and right. it would be all quiet and the doors would open and the drums would come in would bump the quads would go and then boom boom Yes, what? And they would come walking in and like it would be like yeah, that's just right I'm back yeah <laughs> yep, 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 yep. you know that boom boom yeah, I played the bass. Did you? Shut up. Yeah. You were the boom, boom. 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 Not in a marching band. This was in okay. middle school, so I stood in place. I don't think I can march with the big, big thing, the harness right. on me, but I stood there and I hit that bass. Hey, got that bass. Boom. That's what counts. It's all about that bass. Percussion right. April, everybody. Yes, April, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, guys. It's the attacked weekend.